Good afternoon guys. What you're looking at here is a cut extension cord. I bet you all can guess what caused this. This is actually cleaned up. It was all black from when it got cut and electricity were all hitting together and sparking. Um, I'd venture to guess that majority of the time you see an ex cut extension cord hedge trimmers and that's what happened to this one luckily it was near the end and these are easy to replace so i'm just doing a real quick video on how to replace this and talk about some upcoming videos I went by the local um small town hardware store and i picked up one of these it's a little bit of a cheaper one little plastic one but they're super easy to do really basic electric um, 101 stuff but I'm just going to show you how to replace this real quick just for anybody that doesn't know it's real simple so you just kind of look around here figure out how to take it apart for this type it's one little screw And this comes out now you want to be careful a lot of these when you go to take them out the inserts are loose and if you're not sure what you're doing you want to make sure you pay close attention to how it's set up see how easy that fell out so because if you notice here these are two different colors you got brass and silver brass is your lead at your hot wire and it makes a difference and this is silver it's white so if you notice you have white black and green green and if you look down at the bottom there's a, always a green screw usually to indicate your ground and that's your ground right here and your bigger one is usually your neutral your white so small is your black ground white neutral green ground so wait I may have said that wrong black is your hot power white is neutral green is ground so what you want to do and i've already stripped it back a little bit it's, it's a little cut up what you're going to want to end up with is this outside rubber inside the end here so what i like to use and wire strippers are recommended but i strip wires on a daily basis for work and what i generally do is i generally have a pocket knife so I do like a rolling method where I just push and roll. You don't want to do too tight because you don't want to uh, mess up the interior wires. So this is actually kind of a cheap uh, extension cord, but it'll work. Or it, it does work until, we, uh, <laughs> until it got cut. All right, so like I said, want your jacket in just enough. And don't forget, this style here, make sure you put this on before you connect this. Because once that's connected, you can't get this back over it. So, you want your outer jacket on. Just push that out of the way. And you want to get your wires lined up here, so... Just about like that. Green on the bottom, white on the right, black on the left there. I'll get the ground stripped and now I got one more. Okay, the next thing, since there's all these little, see if I can get you to focus. This isn't solid copper, it's fanned out like that. So I try to get it twisted up as tight as I can. Because the goal is to get it wrapped around this screw 
get the screw tightened down, pop these in place, slide it back down, screw it down, and you're good to go. So I'm going to get these twisted up, these screwed on, and then we'll uh, go from there. Alright, so I got the first two on. And what I did was, after I got this first one wrapped around and the screw tightened down, I slid my jacket back up with this on it and made sure that this orange outer jacket was still inside here and that none of this copper... I want to make sure all the exposed copper on these wires are going to be segregated and there's no chance of them touching because that's how electrical fires can start um, those um, neutral and hot wires can touch and uh, spark and create fire so you just want to be really careful like I said um, and be really careful when you're, when you're doing anything with electric war even it, when it is as basic as this so I just unscrew that. Twist that around. Sometimes you may want to use a little pair of needle nose. Make sure it's in there. Sorry, I was out of focus. I was out of screen. Off screen there for a second. A little tip is I was wrapping the cord this way and then try to screw the screw this way and it rolls the wire out of it. So another little tip, which I didn't follow, so I'm going to now, is to roll the wire in the same direction as the screw will be going which will cause it to further twist around it instead of working against it uh, yeah much better now let's get all this piece together And you'll see, there's only one way these, these fit back together. Okay, we got those in there. As you see, the co exposed copper and the exposed copper are separated. By this piece of plastic and this the outside rubber and then we want to put the ground in ground copper separated and one more look around make sure all the exposed copper is separated everything is neatly in place we're going to slide this over it, push it in, Pull, give it a nice little tug because everybody knows we like tugging on electrical cords. Alright, now when this is nice and flush and your screw hole lines up. We just screw this back in and you are done. You got a nice, safe, new female end on your extension cord. You can get orange to match. So, that is all I have for you. The only other thing, for those of you who know what L8 is, it's one awesome soft drink they make here in uh, 
eastern, southern Kentucky. And this is the uh, bigger bottle with the painted on thing. I got a six uh, with the paint on label. I got six of these when I was down at Red River Gorge this past weekend. And another project I'm probably going to make a video on is I'm going to try to cut these right where this bottle starts to taper. I'm going to cut them all, sand them down, and make some nice green L8 drinking glasses. They ought to be cool. I'll keep a couple and give a few away. So, All right, if you want to see some projects like I'm talking about doing, please hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate you stopping by and spending the time to watch a video. Have a good day.